Welcome to my channel. My name is Melody and this is House of Hosting Heaven. Today I wanted to share with you something that God has impressed upon my heart. In fact, it's something that he began to minister to me in the early hours of the morning today. And I'm hoping that it's going to be a blessing to you. I'm hoping that it is going to minister to you from the place where you're at currently in your season. And I'm hoping that it can edify you and encourage you. But most importantly, it can actually give you some direction with regards to where God wants you to go in this space and time. So if you've been a part of this channel for a while, you know I love stories. So I'm gonna start this small moment of encouragement with a story. I am a new mommy to a five week old baby boy. Listen, please try as much as possible not to get fed up with me talking about my little baby boy because <laughs> this is literally my full time job for the next four months. And it seems like everything that God just keeps using in my life to speak to me has been surrounding him and just watching him grow and watching myself evolve in the process so something very beautiful happened in the morning you know when he wakes up in the morning i try to feed him and i try to change his diaper and so after we do those small little exercises he's feeling fresh you know he's um fed and he's less antsy so now he goes back to sleep so I take the opportunity that he goes back to sleep uh, to try to do uh, a few things around the house before he properly and fully wakes up, right? So uh, he wakes up in the morning, I feed him, I change him, and um, I put him uh, to sleep. But as I'm leaving the room, um, I happened to notice that the door had been making a squeaky sound. Now, this is not something that happened or that started uh, today. It's not. It's something that's been probably going on since we moved into this home. Uh, but somehow, my husband and I had found a way to outgrow this dysfunction that was in our home. So we've got squeaky doors. Um, we should have oiled them. <laughs> we should have found something to lubricate them with. Uh, but we just kind of outgrew that dysfunction and we ended up just living in a home with doors that were a bit squeaky. And I think it wasn't the squeakiness of the, of the doors really that would uh, disturb us because it was really a subtle squeak. But we have this very sensitive new member of our family who hears even the smallest little sounds. And so now we're having to re-look every single thing in our home and to rethink every single thing that we're doing in our home. Why? Because we have this new human being with a new perspective that is showing us places that we have neglected but that are dysfunctional. So after realizing that our baby was waking up every single time we laid him to rest, I took my olive oil, <laughs> handy woman that I am, I took my olive oil, took a little lead and went around all the doors in our home and just started pouring a little bit of olive oil on those hinges. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of olive oil. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a preaching on that one. I'm feeling a word right there. But I put a little olive oil, put a little olive oil. And before I knew it, every single one of the doors in our home was functioning properly the way that it had always been intended to function and it wasn't making any noise. Finally, our little new and sensitive member of the family was going to have a good rest every time we laid him to bed. Upon sitting down for my morning devotional, uh, I wake up earlier than anyone else in the home and I just kind of uh, go into my office and I kind of just either do devotionals, I listen to something, I sit, I do a bit of work, sending out planners. Um, the Holy Spirit just really started to minister to me in a very powerful way. He would not let the story come off my heart. And I say, God, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying with this story? What is it about the story that I can't just let it go? And so I really began to feel the Spirit of God bringing unto remembrance the book of song of Solomon. 
Let's read this piece of scripture together. Song of Solomon 2 verse 5. Are you there? It says, Catch for us the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyards, our vineyards that are in bloom. I wanted to understand what the Holy Spirit meant by this piece of scripture. And essentially what it's talking about is that there's these foxes. And these foxes were not grown to full term. These foxes were little foxes, small little foxes. And what would happen is that they, the vineyards were fenced. But there were foxes that were small enough to wiggle through those fences. And to wiggle through those hedges and protection. And they were able to enter into the vineyards and they would spoil the vineyards as they were growing. Essentially, these are small little things. They could be in our spiritual journeys. Small little things that we have tolerated for so long that we have become so used to as dysfunctions. They're so small and yet still they have the capacity to wiggle in and to spoil the vineyards. Now for us, in our home, we had just found a way to leave with the dysfunction of squeaky doors. It was something that we had found a way to ignore, had found a way to leave past. We had squeaky doors day in, day out. It was a dysfunctional space to be, and yet still we were leaving comfortably in that space. Until something new came into that scenario. Something new that allowed us to finally see the dysfunction that we're living in. I thought the Spirit of God was saying to me, and I believe that he's also speaking to you, that there are certain areas in your life where you have become so used to the dysfunction. I could be talking to somebody right now and you specifically remember a season where God, through his Holy Spirit, was ministering to you about specific areas in your life that are not in line, areas that are dysfunctional. Areas where you're struggling. Areas where you know for a fact that you need to grow as a Christian. And initially you would hear him. Initially you would, you knew, you acknowledged that this was a dysfunction. But until you got to a point where you just started running with the punches, you kind of just started moving with the flow. And before you knew it, you forgot that who you were was dysfunctional. And you started leaving naturally and normally as though you have been healed, and you are whole, yet you are dysfunctional. Now, there are certain things that God is going to be releasing, and for some of you, God has already released into this new season. These are new blessings. These are new graces, but they are very sensitive to the environment where you currently are. My child is five weeks old, and he is very new to our environment, and so he's able to pick up some of our dysfunctions, things that we don't even feel are dysfunctional at this point because we're so used to them. These new blessings are going to start coming into your life or are already in your life, and they're going to start exposing the dysfunction that is in your environment. And for you to fully be able to coexist with these new blessings, you are going to need to fix those squeaky hinges. I don't know what the squeaky hinges are in your life, it could be the area of holiness, it could be the area of purity, it could be the area of your mouth, God needs to tame it. It could be the area of relationships, God needs to give you grace to do better in relationships. It could be the area of being a trustworthy, loyal person. I don't know what, what area you're struggling with, but you're going to need to lay, lay those places Lay those things once again before God. <laughs> Lay those areas once again before God. And it takes acknowledgement. It takes acknowledgement of this dysfunction that you've been living with. And so I'm hoping that as you're watching and as you are listening to me right now, you are going to hopefully hear the soft, gentle nudge of the Holy Spirit as he ministers to you through this, this story. That these little foxes in your life May you acknowledge that they exist. But most importantly, may you start tightening up the fences of your vineyard so that these little foxes don't spoil the vineyard, but most importantly, they don't quench the new blessings that God has now started to allow to enter into your life. 
and I want to read the exact word that I sensed and felt in the morning as I wrote it uh, because this is exactly how I received it so I said and to someone I specifically want to release this word to you today there is small things that are stunting your growth pay attention to them fix them do not ignore them because you think you have outgrown them your 2022 depends on it amen so I just want us to pray if you would allow me to pray with you I just want you to pray with me as I'm gonna be praying and standing in faith with you that God will allow you to curate an environment that is conducive to the new that has come in your life so Heavenly Father we just want to thank you for this moment that you have spoken to us father in the name of Jesus we pray that the new will find room in our lives we pray that that which we have prayed for that which we have received in this space that which we have received at the beginning of this new year will find a conducive environment that it may be able to coexist with us in the name of Jesus father we thank you for the spirit that allows us to be convicted allow the spirit of conviction right now into our hearts so that we, we may be able to audit our own spiritual journeys and that we may be true and honest and authentic with ourselves in the places where we need to grow which we need to correct those little places those hinges that we need to oil in the mighty name of Jesus we refuse to live comfortably in our own dysfunction we allow these new things that you have trusted us with these new responsibilities these new blessings to really reveal us to us in the name of Jesus that we may become better that we may be perfected in the season and we may grow to the versions of us that are ready for the new in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen thank you so much for watching and I pray that this has ministered to you in a unique way let me know in the comment section below if you felt that this word was yours but most importantly let me know which area in particular would you like me to stand in prayer with you concerning what are the little foxes that have been slowly threatening to spoil your vine I'm going to encourage you to get the 2022 hosting heaven planner which is our annual planner it's a journal that we use to plan our spiritual lives and this particular year it has a lot more things that are going to really assist you in planning in preparing in curating your spiritual journey it's going to give you clarity and it's going to give you uh, the ability to go through 2022 with so much intentionality when it comes to your spiritual growth those little foxes when they come they will find a tight fence because you have been intentional with your spiritual journey thank you for watching this video and it's a goodbye from me for now <laughs> I really want to do a lot more of these sit down on the floor videos so let me know if you have a name that you suggest we give them but I want to just come sit on the floor no makeup don't need to be dressed up and just share what the Holy Spirit has been ministering to me in real time let's do it and let's grow together cheers